Baxter Clement here at Casino Guitars, holding one of my favorite strange beasts ever built by the Fender Corporation. So the Jazzmaster, 1958. Leo decided to make this little guy to really enter the foray, the battle with serious jazz musicians out there across the globe because Fender had not had much success with them with the illustrious Telecaster and Stratocaster and that's what Leo really wanted. Then it never really happened, but it found its arms into those rock and roll, indie, progressive, all sorts of worlds he never imagined. So I wanted to really get into why you as a guitar player, and I think almost every guitar player, should at least give a jazz master a shot, if not own one and love one yourself. So the Jazz Master really is a unique tonal machine. And we can get into the first, the stylistic differences of it. The offset body looks super great, but as a guitar player likes to sit down a lot, I love the way it feels. When I'm sitting, it's weighted perfectly. It's really meant for sitting. It's meant for the seated musician that wants to like, you know, it was meant for like, comping out jazz chords and living that world. But just as a progressive and sort of blues rock and improvisational type of player, I do love just the comfort and the ergonomics of this instrument. Sonically, what the guitar does is also something quite unique in the world of Fender. Now with these two giant soap bars here, a lot of people mistake them as P90s. It's just a big fat single coil with lots of wrap on it. It's got a truly unique sound. Sometimes the bridge can get a little bit trebly, but when you get the right one with a little bit of age on it or a little bit of master build on magic, it can snap just the way you want it to. So I often will just play my neck pickup in a Jazz Master. I love that sound. But as a Swiss Army knife with actual great capabilities, you got this cool tone circuit right here. This little bad boy is the Magic Thunder Switch that I used to ignore as a young person when I saw these Jazz Masters. I first thought, well, once I hit it, everything just gets muddy and dead. Yuck. <laughs> no, that I know. Um, and maybe even little did Leo know that all of, all of us with our toys. <laughs> Let me just go. We'll just cut in there. Little did I know, and little did Leo even know, that with all of our modern toys, distortions, fuzzes, overdrives, this little tone circuit, little jam joy with your, with your volume and your tone cycle, it adds this whole other dimension to your sonic palette, as you call it. I will often live when I'm playing the fuzz world in that, you know, the alternate tone circuit. I, I just love it when it sort of cuts that highs a bit. I can roll it down. If I want to have a quick switch with an immediate cut through, if I'm playing with a band, I can pop that off, be my bridge, screaming lead all of a sudden. It has that capability for someone like me that doesn't want to have a massive pedal board necessarily, where I'm like having different levels of boost and gains or even like an AB switcher. It's just too many complex ideas for simpletons like myself. But the Jazz Master has it all built within it. Pretty cool. Now I'm not holding the most typical Jazz Master. This one's built by Vincent Van Treat, the master himself over at the Fender Custom Shop. This is one of his earliest masterable designs. We've held onto this thing for a bit. We love it. Think it's gorgeous and um, you know, super dirty, heavy relic, aged Olympic white, tortoise guard, Rose and then in the neck, it's got it's got a little bit of meat to that neck too. I mean, I'm not even gonna talk about his paint job on it. That's spectacular. But that's what I'm holding right now. So if you're curious, there it is. Now we're living in the Fender world right here as we're talking about different guitars to comp it with. Everybody probably has their strat, everyone has their telly. And then most people in that world also have their Les Paul or maybe their SG or the 335. Those are sort of our crown jewel sort of standards, the Cadillac sounds of what we're expected to look for. When I first discovered the Jazz Masters, my first one was like a 1959 reissue um, that I bought myself and I played them before. I was shocked by how different the pickups sounded than what I expected them to sound like. So I thought they were gonna sound like a P90. I was expecting that sort of throaty growl thing, not the spanky mixed with a little bit of that warmth and then mixed with the completely underwound sound when I click that tone circuit on. It, it offers a, a really spanky rhythmic guitar if you want it. It's got a very good cut through with the bridge pickup. Very different too than a Tele, with it, which has that, that Bakersfield sound. This does not do that. And it's very different than a Strat in the same way. It's, it doesn't have that 
iciness in the same aspect that, that a strap might have. And that's good or bad. It's um, to your liking, but I think it's a huge asset if you're looking for tonal differences. The neck pickup is where I tend to live. I don't live in the rhythm setting that often myself between the two. Um, it just doesn't, that in any guitar. Tellies as well, I love a broadcaster type of wiring on a Telecaster because I just love the neck and the bridge. Neck and the bridge, I don't. With a Les Paul, I do love the middle. It's different there. Um, but no, and um, I think overall, these pickups just capture an entirely different flavor. And just the, I don't know if this is weird, but when I'm playing this guitar, just the overall shape and ergonomics of it forced me to play a little bit differently. During the demos here, I was trying to play as strat-like as possible, but it still makes me want to go into different sonic territories when I'm playing it. I love using this in a more progressive, soundscape way as well, like some of my favorite guitar players from Tom Verlaine to the, the gangs over at um, Sonic Youth. Those cats love the Jazz Masters. They offer a very unique cut than if you're playing with a band with a Strat or Tele, this will not sort of step in the same universe. It has its own flavor. This is one of those guitars, you're gonna see it hanging in the shop. It looks strange, it even plays a little bit differently. It might even sound different at first, but trust me, if you haven't played a Jazz Master, do yourself a favor, get your hands on one. It's a whole different universe. It opens up different ways that you think about playing the guitar, it opens up different ways that the guitar will sound. And I, I'll almost throw this down as a gauntlet. I bet once you do acquire a Jazz Master for yourself, you think you're just gonna play it every once in a while, it's really hard to put down. Once this comes out into the mix, it might become your primary, your number one, your lover, the guitar you love every second. So I wish you a happy journey. Go try Jazz Master. Go have a little fun with it. If you've had an experience with Jazz Masters, have another one. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. Casino Guitars, signing out.